Hi guys, Mr. Bennett here. Today we're going to be looking at a thing called the sign rule. Now the sign rule is really, really important and it relates to obvious sides and angles, you know, relating to each other. And so if we look at the formula here, obviously it's giving you three relationships here. Um, so what we have to think about before is, and we've done this before, we've said that if I've got this angle here, A, then the related side to A is in fact this side over here. If we've got this side B here, then the related side to that is in fact this one over here. Because that angle, as that changes, it will change the length of this side over here. And this one here, angle C, relates to this side over here, C. If you get that, then that's the main thing. Now, we're only ever gonna do two of these sides. So I could say sine of A to A is equal to sine of say B as to B. That's the relationship we're gonna do. All right, probably the easiest way to show you this is to actually do a question. All right, so if I'm going to give you a triangle and let's say I've got this angle over here is 50 degrees and that side over there is say 12 meters and this side over here is um, 30 degree, oh let's say this over here is, uh, un, oh, let's make it uh, 10 meters and I want to find this angle here. All right, and we'll call that say angle theta. Now the key thing that when you're doing any of these questions to do with sine rule is to make sure that you always put the unknown on the top left hand side. So if it is an angle then what we'll be doing is we'll go say sine of the angle all over the corresponding side, the corresponding side, this one over here, so that will be the 10 equals sine of the other angle that we've got, which is 50 degrees, and then that is going to be the corresponding side is 12. So to work this out, I'm gonna to have to bring that up to the top line, get sine theta by itself, and then theta is gonna be the inverse sine of all of that. So you can do this in one line, because you guys know a little bit about algebra. So let's just make it really quick and efficient. And then over 12. So this is where I can go to my calculator and work it out. So then what I do is I simply go to my calculator, inverse sine, I go 10, sine 50, put your bracket in there, divide that by 12, and then uh, Enter, and that gives me an answer of 39.7 well, degrees. So I go back to there, 39.7 degrees. Now you should better work out whether that's about right or not. The bigger the angle, the bigger the side. So because that's 50 degrees and that's 12 and this one's 10, we're expecting theta to be a little bit less than uh, 12, all right? A little less than 50 degrees. So that sounds about right. I'm not saying it's exactly right, but I'm just saying it looks like it could be a possible answer. It doesn't look ridiculous. All right, so that's if I'm finding a psi, uh, finding an angle. If I want to find a psi, I do a similar sort of thing. So let's say I've got this angle over here, which is 60 degrees. This angle over here is uh, 50 degrees. Uh, I have that side that I want to find and I'm given this side over here, which is 15 meters. All right, first thing is, that angle corresponds to this side over here. That side corresponds to this angle here. Oh, we're not given that angle, but we know that there's 180 degrees in the triangle, so that's 110, so this one here must be 70 degrees. All right, just keeping in mind, if that's 15 meters, that 70 degrees is the biggest angle, so we're expecting x to be bigger than 15. Again, when we start looking at the ratio, so we're gonna put our unknown on the top left-hand side, and then we're gonna go sine of the angle that corresponds to that, which is 70 degrees, and that's equal to the side we do know, which is 15 to its corresponding angle, which is sine of 60 degrees. This one's a bit easier, so all I have to do is bring that up to the top line, so therefore x is equal to 15 sine of 70 degrees all over sine of 60 degrees 
and that will allow me to work out the answer. Alright, so let's do it. So we've got 15 sine 70 degrees. Divide that by sine of 60 degrees. And that will give me an answer of 16.28. Um, so, so that's equal to 16.28 meters. Again, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to be bigger over there because the 15 angle smaller, so therefore it should be smaller than the sign over here. So really, when you think about it, there's only ever two types of questions you're going to get. All right, for the sine rule. All right, you're either finding an angle with a corresponding side or you're finding a side with a corresponding angle. Now you must have one matching pair and the other one you must have at least one of the variables there. So generally if you get given one angle and two sides that you know are between the two the two sides then you're using the cosine rule. If you're given two angles or and, and corresponding sides, then you know you're using the sign rule. So we use these two rules uh, a lot, all right? So you need to make sure you practice those. So if you came in to exercise K on K, you'll find there'll be some questions for you to have a go at related to that. All right, so good luck with those. Make sure you catch up with me if you need some help.